What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my seven backups in my collection. I'm surprised to say I only have seven backups, but it's kind of done by design. <laughs> I don't like a lot of backups in my collection because I feel like it stops me from using all the other polishes that I really, really want to get through and try. So I actually keep them on their own separate little rack, so it reminds me to keep using them. There's one that I use kind of sparsely because I really really like it and it, there's been a dupe for it but you know with me I just like the original for some reason I'm quirky like that <laughs> but anyway these are ones that I got one was an accidental purchase the others um, were just meant to be because I love them <laughs> so let's just get into it so the first one I have up here is the one that I'm wearing on my nails right now this is sinful colors super Cooper this came out in their stone crystal shimmer collection I'm not sure which year this collection came out but once I saw it, I knew that I wanted it, and so I got this in a D-stash um, late last year in the fall. Really, really love this color. I did um, find Super Cooper in another D-stash in the summertime, and then when I found the full collection, uh, that person happened to have this one as well, so that's how I got the second backup of this one. I really love um, the Glass Flex shimmers in there. Glass Flex shimmers are some of my favorite types of polishes to wear in my collection so when I saw this whole collection I obviously wanted it so I'm thankful that I found the majority of it but this one is definitely my one of my favorites the second one would have to be claim me which was the orange one but I'm happy to say that I have one of the favorites has a backup so that was simple colors super cooper the second one I have up in here is one that I've talked about a few times now. This is Essie's Smooth Sailing. This came out in their 2011 summer collection and quickly got discontinued, or maybe a few years after it got discontinued, but this is my second bottle of this guy, and then I have a third one, so that'll they make that my third bottle of this guy that I'm going to use. I love this. This is one of my favorite blues to use in my collection. This kind of made me fall in love with Essie all over again after finding exotic glitters and little brown dress and all those OG um, Essie polishes. But this one is definitely one that um, I think is pretty dupable. Um, I know OPIs came up with one called show your tips which I actually do have but this one that one is a bit more lighter and I do like the shimmers in this one a lot more so I'm happy that I do have a backup of it so that was Essie's smooth sailing next is another Essie this is sexy divide this is one of my favorite purples to use of all time this is in the core collection but I do have a backup of it because I use it a lot it's just this glassy gorgeous purple it has these pink and and blue shimmers in it really really subtle but it's really beautiful this one I think is a classic SC for me anyway <laughs> I will definitely keep adding this one to my collection because I really like it and purples are one of my favorites to wear on my nails and I think SE I think this is one of the first Essies that I ever used and it's one that I just kept using over and over again so I think I will continuously always have a backup of this guy so that was sexy divide fourth one on this rack is China Glaze's budding romance this came out in their 2013 spring collection that was one collection that I absolutely loved from China Glaze. I have almost every single uh, polish from that collection, and I'm not usually one to get an entire collection, so they really did a great job. But this one is those ugly, pretty colors that we all love. <laughs> um, this definitely reminds me, as I said, of Zoya's Eunice, but just the one that doesn't have the shimmer in it. Uh, this one got discontinued a couple years ago, and I did find a backup on sparklecanada.com a few years ago as well, but this one is super gorgeous this bottle is almost halfway down it's definitely one of my most used polishes in my collection i love including toppers on this like i i used china glazes world away i'll show you guys a little picture and i really liked how the ugly green contrasted between the different um shapes of uh, uh shapes of glitters in there like the bar glitters uh the hexagon white the black that was a really cool topper so that is um china glaze's budding romance next one i have up is another one from china glaze this is creative fantasy this came out on their cirque du soleil collection this is a deep very very deep jelly purple 
I love this. This reminds me of what Dripping Wet would look like if it was purple. That is one polish that is on my lemming list for China Glaze that I probably won't find because it's so, so old. But um, this definitely reminds me of the version of that. It really looks like it's dripping off your nails. I love that. I don't know if I can use this for... Um, jelly sandwiches I haven't tried yet but sometimes I feel like when the base is too dark uh, the flakies or whatever type of top topper you're trying to use to create the jelly sandwich doesn't really come out that well but um, I haven't experimented since so I'm talking a bit too soon but I will definitely experiment with the jelly sandwich with this one but I love this and I definitely wanted a backup of it in my collection because I am using it quite frequently so that is Creative Fantasy by China Glaze and the last one from China Glaze is in their core collection this is Tantalize Me and this is the OG like China Glaze label I don't know what it is about these OG China Glaze labels that I like but I don't know they just like look like newspaper to me like very just like dated and I like it <laughs> so this is Tantalize Me I absolutely love polishes with a strong blue shimmer in it they just look kind of they look very regal to me <laughs> i know because purple is the color of royalty so it doesn't make sense but um i love like strong blue shimmers i think the contrast between uh the purple mauve base and the shimmer in there is so beautiful this is as i said one of their core colors but i do have a back above it i haven't actually worn this in a long time but i did see it on sale and i was like I'm almost halfway down this bottle I could get another one why not so that was trying to glaze this tantalize me and the last backup I have here is because the very first bottle of this that I got it broke last year because my nail polish rack fell but this is polish for days kelpie this polish is right up my alley when it comes to mermaid polishes that is a finish that I just love I feel like it, the Blakey's when they look matte is just my favorite. I fall in love every time. <laughs> so this is definitely one that I had to get as a backup because the maker doesn't uh, continues to keep the same polishes in stock. Uh, so uh, this one, I think it won a few awards as well has um the best flaky uh, polish with the indie swatch awards i believe so yeah this polish is pretty cool and i'm glad to have a second of it in my collection so that was polish for days kelpie all right guys that is it for all these backups let me know what backups you have in your collection or what you're hoping to have as a backup <laughs> if you don't already have it thank you so much for watching i always appreciate it and i'll see you in my next one take care